Hello guys, it's me. Vlogger 16 and today we're going to be doing the Super Mario Bros. Parkour map and this is a, a kind of a new map I think. I think it was, it was made quite a, quite a short time ago and it's uh, not really popular but I'll, I'm assuring that it will be because I've tried this map out and I'm telling you now it's, it's gorgeous. It's amazing. So let's read the plot for you guys. Story plot. You and your brother are working for a company as plumbers. On Thursday, February 19th, 2003, you walk into the office and see your boss crying and sobbing. You walk up to him and ask, What is wrong, Mr. Drew? My daughter was kidnapped by a lizard thing. I need someone to save her. You reply, I can help. He laughs and says, You are just plumbers. What could you possibly do? Give us a shot. And so he did. And your quest begun. There's our quest. So I wouldn't go for the rules, guys. Play on any difficulty. Peaceful, keep it like You can spawn pork chop, but that's it, okay? When you beat a round, get the checkpoint. Go into pipes to get the new world. There's no minimum or maximum of players. Have fun, no breaking stuff. And thank you to Micah James 65 or Golden Creeper 3, 2, 1. So I want to start the game. Let's search for the princess in world 1. The easiest one. World 1. Okay. So, oh, this looks nice. This looks really nice. What the hell? Some glowstone missing. But, don't worry. Not to... Oh gosh. Not to, you know, harass. So, basically, <coughs> I was looking for the Minecraft forums. Because, you know, due to my illness, I think I need to be doing more series. And I see this beautiful, beautiful looking Mario map. And I thought to myself, you know what? Let's give it a go. And at the end of the, at the, end of the, um, the episode, I'm going to rate this, this map to see what it's like. Okay. The princess wasn't in World 1. Let's check world two. Oh, my Mario accent really isn't that special, unfortunately. Slightly harder than world one. The desert checkpoint. Checkpoint beds. Okay, so let's take the beds, just in case, you know. Just in case we don't want to be running with the bed. No, 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 no. There we go. Put mushrooms in it. Unfortunately, I have no mushrooms. There's some mushrooms there though, but we're gonna leave them. Okay, what does this do? Whoa! Like a boss, there you go, simply. Simple and quick. I like the innovative gaming that they've done there. Nice and like. Nice using pistons. Oh, he's got me now, he's got me. You know, this the layer of the map is like pretty simple and easy, but I'm telling you now, it's really effective. And like, it just. It just it's this is probably one of the most fun I've had. This is the most it's the most fun I've had in a parkour map so far. So that's that's an up there. And there you go, just make that jump. Seriously, it's really fun, it's really quick. There you go. The princess, what's in world two? Let's check world three. This one's super easy, just go to the pipe. Water. What what? Oh, Oh, we're in water. It's the water. It's the water level of Mario. And I'm 15 right now, guys. So I did experience the Mario on the Game Boys. And I remember when I was tiny, going on holiday, and my mom and dad brought me a Game Boy, the Ice World. And the first, like, he had like some next level games in it, like some Japanese chips. Oh, God, what's this? Some chip things. So I had like 600 games in one. Oh my gosh, it was amazing. All of like 600 games in one. And I remember playing freaking Mario Kart, but the the Nintendo version, like that, what was it called, the Game Boy version, and it was so nice. It's all about the the old times, ain't it? And I remember playing this game that was so addicting. It was like, it was basically like Mario, but a man that looked like a boy, and he was in a skirt. And I'm telling you now, it was so fun. But after that, you know, the, the revolution changed. Nintendo DS's came out, and that's the I got the Nintendo DS Lite, 
That's the second con uh, handheld console that I got. The S Lite, it was oh, that was the best. I remember having my, uh, the first games I had as well was in, like I, I had like an R four card, and you could like get loads of games on it. And I had Mario, I had Pokemon, oh Pokemon, I loved Pokemon. Oh, uh, but Mario, I remember I wasn't doing the best on it. I, I, I actually don't know if I completed it. <coughs> and that's basically it. the the I used to play the Super Mario ones, the one on DS, and I used to play the old one on my Game Boy. So that's basically all. That's all. Oh sugar. Okay, this is. Yep. That's all. You know. This is the. Oh, you know what I hate. I hate ladders. It's it's the worst thing ever. Look, you climb up both, but amazingly, your character don't care. What? No. How's? Oh my gosh. Sorry about this, guys. Amazingly, you can't climb ladders in real life. All you have to do is get your hand out and freaking dirty out. There you go. I think we should have jumped this now. There you go. So basically, that's my that's that's just been my my experience on Mario. She's not in World Four. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. what is happening? I see us flying over World Five. Let's go to World Six. So I think he hasn't done World Five yet. I think he's just left it. Maybe he doesn't like it. But right now this is a maze, a maze to the death. Where do we go? Where do we go? See the problem with mazes is you don't know where you're going. You don't know what to do. <clears throat> and if you are watching this, guys, I want um, some some advice. Any any new series coming out? Any new adventure maps you want me to do? And I'll gladly do them for you. I will 100% gladly do them for you. Because right now, you know, I got my Let's Play series that I'm not really enjoying. Because my PC isn't capable of playing with fraps, fraps because fraps just completely deteriorates and you know, it just makes it really, really slow. So, you know, I'm not having fun because I'll have to play on like short running distance, which makes it look ugly. On maps like this, I'm getting, uh, right now, I'm getting 72 FPS, 70, 73, and I'm playing on the fa um, fancy, and it's, you know, it's, it'll look good for you guys. I just don't want to be playing something that looks ugly and like you can see like pixels and everything on a place on a nice a nice place so we don't need the beds because we're playing on creative so I'm just going to take that away and we need to find this this am I going in circles I think the fact is I'm going in circles okay so this is where I came from and we shouldn't go we ain't going that way, we're gonna go this way. Here we go, okay. So we're not gonna go that way. Okay, we have to go this way. And I'm gonna go this way, which is a dead end, so we're gonna have to go this way. <clears throat> which is really frustrating. Okay, so mazes oh I'm locked in. No I'm not. I'm not liking this maze. We're basically locked in. Yep, basically, we are just locked in the same place. This is the worst maze I've ever witnessed in my life. Oh, has, has anyone actually um, witnessed going into a maze? How funny it is. Like, oh, I remember when I was, I think I was, I think I was 12, we went on holiday and there was like, this maze for like a ride. You had to pay for it. We went in and he was absolutely amazing getting lost. Don't know where he's going, just walking. Don't know where to go. You don't know where you lead, where everything leads to, and it's just so fun. It's so ridiculous and I love it. And I think off it okay, we've been here, Amy, we've been here, so I'm gonna go this way. <clears throat> it's just an amazing experience knowing that you're trapped in some green hedges and if you're trapped there, you ain't gonna get out. You just basically stuck there forever. It was an absolutely gorgeous experience, just knowing that no one will ever know and see her. None of your family will, unless you get out of the maze. And this maze is proving to be really good. I'm actually su pretty surprised. I'm completely lost now. I was I was here last time. I'm gonna have to ab abuse my way out of here. Oh. 
We just came from there. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> so we just came from there, so we don't know where we're going. I really don't know where I'm going. It's, conf it's confusing. I'm, I'm going to just have to grief my way out. I just came from here, didn't I? But where am I? I'm stuck in a maze. Oh my god. I can't get out. So yeah, guys. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to end the episode here. So, thanks for watching, everyone. It's been me, VerkusXD. And I'm amazingly stuck in a maze. And there's loads of glowstone everywhere. And we're just stuck here. But we're gonna find our way out, don't worry. Okay, not that way. I'm sorry, map maker. This is just so. Ch no, this is so challenging. Thanks for watching, guys. Me versus day, and goodbye.